For primer, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I'm working this product into the skin using the MAC Oval 6. I'm highlighting underneath my foundation to fake that natural glow. I love the Bare Light Skin Lights from Revlon. Apply this product to the tops of your cheekbones, underneath your brow bone, and also above the arch of your brow. Allow two to five minutes for the base products to set before moving on to your foundation. A new product to my channel, hello and welcome. This is the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I'm pressing that into the skin using my Chi Chi makeup sponge. I love the formulation of this foundation for my dry skin and the color matches me perfectly. Move on to the brows, allowing time for your foundation to set. I've had this brow pencil in my makeup collection for the longest time now and I can't believe that I just discovered it. This is the It Cosmetics super skinny brow pencil. The color is a great match for my brow hairs. The tip of the pencil is super fine so you're able to create those hair-like strokes with ease. Time to prime the lids and I'm using my MAC paint pot in the shade Laying Low. If you feel like the shade Soft Ochre is too light for you, definitely give this one a go. Paint pots are awesome because they provide the perfect base for your eyeshadow. They also help conceal any discoloration around the lid area. I'm just popping that on using my fingers, easy peasy, and I'm also curling my eyelashes now before I forget. It's the one thing in life I always forget. Skip setting your base and move straight onto your transition shade. With this light brown shadow on a Zoeva blending brush, I'm taking the shade into the crease and bringing it quite far up close to the brow bone. I'm now picking up this dark brown shade on a smaller Zoeva brush and I'm placing that directly into the crease, concentrating most of the color on the outer portions of the crease area. Diffuse most of the color onto the outer portion and then whatever's left on your brush, bring it into the inner half of the crease. You want the darkest area to be on the outer third. The eyes weren't as warm as I wanted them to be, so I dipped my blending brush into this vibrant orange shade. I'm lightly dusting a small amount of this shadow above the crease area. Crease is done for now, it's time for the lid area. With a damp brush, I'm applying this shimmery brown shade on the outer thirds of my mobile lid. You also want to apply this shade on the inner third of the eye. Whilst looking straight into a mirror, you want to tilt your head from side to side to make sure that your eyeshadow is even. Once you are happy with this placement, it's time to move on to the next shade. In this Chi Chi palette, I am picking up this rose gold shade and applying it to the center of my mobile lid. And once again, I'm using a damp brush for a better color and shimmer payoff. Using a damp brush also minimizes shadow fallout. Not only do the eyes look awesome, it's also a cleaner way to work. At this point, you want to take a blending brush and start diffusing any of the outer edges to ensure there is no harsh line. With a smaller detailed brush, which I've dampened, I'm picking up that rose gold shade and running it on the outer third and inner third of my lower lash line. Keeping the tear duct area free from any shadow. Before it sets, slightly diffuse the outer edges. Before I do any more work on my lower lash line, I want to conceal my under eye bags. The Urban Decay concealers are one of the best concealers that I've tried. Maximum coverage with minimal cake. This stuff feels really light underneath the eyes and I absolutely love blending it out using my MAC Oval 6 brush. This brush is a little too bulky for the under eye area which is why I like to take my old blending brushes. This is a Sigma E40 and I use this to blend out the concealer close to my eye area. I'm now taking this shimmery brown shade and using this to diffuse the lower lashes. This will help further define the lower lash line area. Time to highlight and I'm using this pale gold and shimmery shade together and I'm running that on the bare space that we left on the center of the lower lash line. And once again, I am using this shadow on a damp brush because I feel like that they work best whilst they are damp. I'm also using these two shades to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and lower T-duct area. Onto highlighting, which is why I showed you the NARS concealer a little earlier. I'm using the shade Vanilla and taking the smallest amount underneath my eyes in between my brows and around my mouth to help crisp up any lipsticks that we're going to apply. And since we're working around the eyes, I'm using that Sigma E40 brush to blend this all out, giving it an airbrush effect. I'm skipping black liner for this look and using a brown liquid liner. This is the best brown liquid liner that I've tried. This liner is very pigmented, it's very fluid. Now, for the actual shape, I'm not creating a wing. I'm just drawing a standard line across my lids. It tapers in so it's thinner on the inner corners and it gradually gets thicker, but ever so slightly. Lining the upper lid is optional, but if you are applying lashes like I am, then it's just the perfect little base for your eyelashes to sit on top of. 
Since we didn't create a spotlight effect on the mobile lid area, I've decided to add some sparkly bronze liner to the center part of my line. I just wanted to add some shine and some pizzazz in a very subtle way. And I absolutely adore these NYX liquid liners. We're going to finish off the eyes with some generous coats of mascara. This is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. Definitely worth the hype, I must say. I really like this mascara. Eyelashes, these are actually one of my favorites of all time. These are the Eyelaw 117 Texture Lashes. Very comfortable, very light, and very long, which is what I like. Oh my god, that rhymed. I'm keeping this in there. For the cheeks, I am using this Lip and Cheek Palette from MAC Cosmetics, and I'm taking the orange shade and running that on the apples of my cheeks and dragging it upwards towards my temple in a teardrop shape. Now that all the cream products are on, I'm setting with powder and I'm using this new one by Maybelline and for my under eye area, I'm using my Antipodes Brightening Translucent Powder and to apply this, I have my Ray Morris Mini Kabuki brush. I absolutely love this brush. Definitely need to buy like another seven of these. I'm using Incandescent Light by Hourglass to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and Hula by Benefit Cosmetics to contour the perimeter of my face. And I'm using it on that same mini Ray Morris Kabuki brush. It's lip time and I'm using this Jane Ardell Nude Lip Pencil. This is a beautiful, gorgeous lip pencil. I love the shade, I love the formula. It's super creamy, it isn't drying. I'm using this to line the perimeter of my lips, slightly overdrawing the shape, and then I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in the shade 410. This has actually been my everyday lip color for the last couple of weeks. Second lip combo, I blotted the earlier lip color and just went over the lips with a little bit of myth from that. Third lip combination is more dramatic and my personal favorite. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. And without lip liner, because I feel really confident um, drawing in my lips um, without the help of a lip liner, I'm just going directly in using the doe foot applicator to apply this color on my lips. I am slightly overdrawing, just ever so slightly. One strange thing is you'll see that it doesn't actually dry that matte on me. And this is the third and final lip look. Let me know by commenting down below which combination was your favorite. Was it one, number two, or number three? Leave your comments and your requests down below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.